good. good shape. Thank this you. is so nice getting everybody all sweaty. Oh, you get to eat your a couple of years ago, I started to have a dinner on Saturday night here at the festival as a way of really trying to share more of the magazine with my readers. I take so many pictures, I get so many stories, and it's really hard to fit that all into, you know, a 90-page magazine. And this festival is just very special to me, and I thought, what a great thing to just have a Wild Fibers dinner. What's special about this call is that they, they have a standard call, okay? But this was actually made, you can tell, it was, you know, hand forged. Uh, so I think, I think... This is our third year, and I love to do it because I think, even though I'm a writer, and I, I certainly love to express myself that way, there is something about being able to talk about the places I've been, and certainly tomorrow night's story is all about uh, the visits I've done uh, up in Chang Tang, which is a part of Ladakh in India, and it's travels with the nomads that I've done who raise cashmere goats. It's a very special, special story for me. I hope you all have had enough food, okay? I just took it a couple of weeks ago during what is something is called the Ladakh Days Festival. You're going to see people in costume, but these are, this is still very traditional what they wear, certainly on ceremonial occasions. Um, and yes, they are done for the special event, but I hope it, it will, most importantly, is give you a sense of these people. what to me is going to be the most incredible event for the fiber industry. I am leaving for Rome on Sunday. Um, I have a meeting at the UN on Monday morning, which I'm going to be late to. Um, this is about the International Year of Natural Fibers, and which is looking towards promoting not only an awareness about the natural fiber community, but about the animals, the people that are involved. It also looks at the element of food and sustainability. And so I'm involved primarily with starting an incredible initiative called Keep the Fleece, which will really culminate here next year in New York's Sheep and Wool Festival, putting on their very first International Day. The festival is going to be open on Friday, specifically to highlight an international focus. I will be bringing, I say I, 
so many of the people that I have written about in the magazine, my nomadic friends from India, my friends from Kazakhstan, from Kyrgyzstan, from South Africa, from Peru, we're even having people from that produce the Kiviak up in the Canadian Arctic coming. We are having the most incredible representation of people who are involved at all levels, not just shepherds, not just nomads, but artisans, natural dyers. You know, it's again, it's the whole fiber industry. It's going to be an incredible event. Our next live show is on April 25th at 6 p.m. Eastern. Join us for a worldwide knitting meetup and chat with Let's Knit Together viewers from all over. Be sure to friend me on Stickham well before the show starts so you won't have trouble getting into the chat. Go to letsknittogether.com live for full details on how to participate. We want to thank our sponsor, Bijou Basin Ranch. They carry lovely, soft, yak blend yarns and fibers. Go to our website, letsknittogether.com, and click on the Bijou Basin Ranch button to get to their online store. Use the code LK2G during checkout, and you'll get a 5% discount on your entire order. Keep in mind, we only get paid from the sponsorship when somebody buys something with our code. So if you're considering some high-quality yak yarn or fiber, now's the time to buy, because part of your purchase will help keep Let's Knit Together going. And remember, if you're not 100% satisfied, there's a complete money-back guarantee. We want to thank everyone for your comments and for sharing your knitting goof stories for Episode 42, January Journeys. The winner of the great Tofutsi Sock Yarn Extravaganza was Vanity Fair. The yarn should be on the way to your doorstep right now. To contact the show, you can email me at cat at letsittogether.com. You can also find me on Twitter, Ravelry, and Plurk as Let's Knit Together. And you can join our Ravelry group, the Let's Knit Together Ravelers. You can also find me on Twitter, Ravelry, and Plurk as Let's Knit Together. And you can always... <laughs> One more time. And X. No, I'm not ready yet. You're not ready? Hurry up. You Where's usually you say, are you ready? Are you and ready? then you say action. Well, are you ready or not? Okay. Now I'm ready. You're ready now. I'm okay. ready now. Okay, good. Do it again. Okay. And action. You can also find me on Twitter, Ravelry, and Plurk as Let's Knit Together. And you can join our Ravelry group, the Let's Knit Together Ravelers. That was yeah, that trouble there. I, I had that same problem when I was practicing. Our, our Ravelry. You can also find us on Ravelry on our, it's really hard to say. Yeah. <laughs> it's nighttime. We're leaving the Wild Fibers event. But it's so eerie here in Rhinebeck that we decided to try to capture some of this experience for all of you. So what did you think of the first day? Wow, I'm exhausted, but we had so much fun. Amazing. There's like nobody else here. I know, We're we like own Leah. the place. Let's go scare the llamas. 